The gracilis muscle has an origin on the pubic and ischial bones. And you can see it here, the origin here near the pubic symphysis. And inserts on the medial side of the tibia. The gracilis adducts the thigh at the hip joint and also flexes the leg at the knee joint. The adductor magnus muscle is the largest and the deepest muscle of the medial compartment. But in this model, you can't see the very much of the muscle. You can see part of the muscle over here. It has an origin on the pubic and ischial bones, going back to the ischial tuberosity. So this is part of the adductor magnus. This looks like a separate muscle, but it is also part of the adductor magnus. And if we remove the sartorius muscle, you can also see a little bit of the adductor magnus muscle right over here, right underneath the gracilis muscle, which is this muscle right over here. So uh, the adductor magnus muscle is uh, another adductor, of course, as the name implies, an adductor of the thigh at the hip joint. And this muscle can also medially rotate the thigh at the hip joint. Now we are looking at the anterior aspect of the thigh, and right over here are the muscles of the anterior compartment, including the sartorius and the rectus femoris. And we want to look at a couple of muscles that you can see here that are part of the medial compartment. First, we'll look at the pectineus muscle right over here. The pectineal muscle has an origin on the pectineal line and the nearby bone of the pelvis and inserts on the proximal femur. Uh, the pectineus adducts and flexes the thigh at the hip joint. The adductor longus muscle is another muscle of the medial compartment. And in order to see it better, better let's remove this arterius muscle right over here. So here is the adductor longus muscle. Uh, it has an origin on the body of the pubis, and it inserts on the linea aspera, about along the mid shaft of the femur. The adductor longus muscle adducts and medially rotates the thigh at the hip joint. Before leaving the muscles of the medial compartment of the thigh, let's just mention that the adductor brevis muscle cannot be seen in this model.